Hello, Cancer. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play some tarot cards with you today. Thank you for tuning in one more time, my friends. And of course, thank you for all of your likes, all of your subscribes, all of your comments. I love your comments, Cancer. I read them all and I try to respond to all of them. Definitely try to. Also, my friends, thank you for all of your donations. I appreciate all of that. And I appreciate all of my cancer friends and many of you that reached out for uh, private readings. Cancer, one of my biggest supporters are you guys. I love my cancer friends. You guys support me with your donations and your uh, readings um, and your comments and your love. Thank you, my cancer friends. I do want to apologize for all of you that reached out to me and tried to get a, a reading. I was not able to connect with you. You know, thank you for your understanding and your patience with all of that. Just one Mikey here. If you want a reading, all that info is down below on how to contact me. Just keep sending them. Yeah. All right. These will be for cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2018. First half of August 2018. These readings will be for love and relationships. Relationships of all kinds. Homework, family. We've got some cards flipping out over here. Six of Swords coming out of Dark Night of the Soul. Hmm? Cancer, go ahead and go to sleep. Nine of Swords right there. Coming out of Dark Night of the Soul. Love and relationships of all kinds. I'm going to primarily be focusing on love here. I love to read for love. Yeah. Love to read love. We all know there's no possible way that these can be for every cancer, sun, moon, rising on the planet. So if it resonates with you, run with it. And if it don't, throw it out. Yeah. All my cross watchers, you're absolutely welcome here. I love you guys. Uh, I want to remind you that even though I'll be saying cancer a lot, these may read out from your perspective. All right, cancer, let's play some cards here, huh? And shuffling your cards for a while, meditating. Let's go with this right here. I'm going to tune in right here. Hey, Tearaway Love Team. Cancer's here to play with us. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest goods in regards to love and relationships for August, the first part of it, 2018. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me to see and speak what I need. Help Cancer see and hear what they need out of these readings. Let's take all these amazing pictures, put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Cancer's highest good. Thank you so very much for that, love team. I appreciate it. I cannot do this without you, my guides. Here we go, Cancer, cutting the deck. Cancer, the first card out is my Princess of Pentacles right here. This is, uh, you know, a young earth sign. Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. And these are messages coming in from that person. Not texting. These are, wow, phone calls or meeting face-to-face -face with this person. Hmm? You know, a new day dawning right there for you right here, you know. Just moving forward, it's not fast. It's not fast, Cancer, but it's movement. You know, the red flowers right here talking about feeling that the price has been paid right here. Let's see where this goes right here. I like it right in the middle of your spread, to be honest with you. <laughs> Eight of Wands, Cancer. I love it for you. Eights are always um, a number of new beginnings for me. 
Eight of Wands is full steam ahead. It is communication. It is travel. It is movement. This person, this young earth sign, may live at a little bit of a distance from you. May not. Definitely see some movement. You know, this is fire energy. Uh, Leo, Saggy, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, of course. This person may have fire and earth in their chart. I like this for you, Cancer. This is nice. Yeah, something that you've been working on for a while here, you know. There's that little golden coin. There's that little offering. So let me bring in an offering for you. You know, a little piece of the harvest in their hand right there. Mm -hmm. A little luck. A little luck from these old Japanese uh, cherry blossoms right over here. A little luck for you, Cancer. Here we go. Eight of Wands, full steam ahead. Great communication. You know, maybe some movement right here. New beginnings coming in for you, Cancer, right here. Hoo-hoo, definitely, definitely been challenging in the past, huh? Five of Swords. Fives always talk about change because of contrast. Five of Swords is that card of manipulation control. You know what I'm talking about right here. Shows uh, the old character right there up in the front of the card. Not playing right with the other ones, was he? He's prepared for the battle. He came in, stole their swords from them right there. These fellas in the back has that little attitude on his face. Like, ah, you get what you get. Hmm? But this is a card of Cancer doing what's best for them. Setting themselves up in the front of the card. Uh, cancer, you don't need the swords. You attempt to walk in love. That don't mean people get to come in here, wipe their feet all upon you. And uh, this is a card of, um, well, setting yourself up in front. And if somebody's not playing with you right, if somebody's not loving on you right, uh, what do we do with children? Uh, we set them in the timeout chair when they're being unruly. And it looks to me, Cancer, like uh, in the distant past and for a while, uh, you have set somebody out in timeout chair, decided to do what's best for you, love on yourself first, and do all that work right here. Yeah, I love it for you. Definitely coming out of some challenging times uh, with this person right here. Five of swords right there, no doubt about it, my friends. Let's see where we're going right here. Justice right here. I'm loving this for you. Justice in the recent past, you know, that's the karmic scales of balance bouncing out for you right here some of you may have cut this person off in the in the past but one thing's for sure you know it you know that's just doing what's best for you and this is you know karma balancing out for you right here it's also libra you know there may be a libra in the picture somewhere uh this air energy right here as well but definitely justice right here. Uh, doesn't really matter what happened in the past. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, let's stay in the now. Let's stay in the now. Let's see where we're going right here. Tower. <laughs> Cancer. Yeah, many of you did just be like, well, I'm not going to play with you like that anymore. Yeah, this old Five of Swords energy right here. Who and just uh, came in and laid the law down. Did you not, Cancer? No, thank you, sir. No, thank you, ma'am. I'm not playing this way with you anymore. I tried to tell you about that. Get the little timeout chair right there. Timeout, tower, boom. Source coming and striking the uh, situation right here. This is an interesting spread right here. <laughs> Justice coming in for you. Tower right here. But we got full steam ahead right in the middle of the spread right here with that young earth sign right there. This is air right out here, you know. This could be an air sign that you were dealing with, you know. But this person could have air, fire, Earth in their charts. Really what I'm seeing really looks to me like uh, you uh, told them mm, not playing this anymore at all. You're going to level the playing field and start again because 
now I know what I do want because I definitely know what I don't want with you. Mm -hmm. Here it comes right here. King of Pentacles right there, that earth sign right there coming in, coming in for you. Now this is earth, sun, moon, rising, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo right there. Absolutely coming in for you right here. Yeah, Looks like the same person to me. Hmm? Round and round and round we go. Hmm? Where we stop? Only cancer. No. Yeah, that's right. The buck stopped right there. Looks like it shook him up for a minute. I mean, this is this is a a great catch right here. You know, these earth signs, they're great catches. They really are. You know, he's the king of pinnacles. He lives in the money palace. Hmm? Stable, grounded, has the Midas touch, knows how to make the coin. A giver, no doubt about it. Could have had some kind of heartfelt change right here. It's Cupid's arrows flying through the air right there. Wands of passion flying through the air right there. And here comes this king of pinnacles, uh, male, female. We all know that. Let's see where this goes, Cancer. <laughs> That's because Cancer's manifesting. Wow, got the magician showed up for you right here, my friend. I love it. It's Mercury. Uh, this is uh, Gemini, Virgo. May mean something to you, may not. Uh, this could be a little Gemini that you're playing with right over here. Um, it caused a lot of problems and you just uh, took a break from them. Here they come again. Hmm? Here they come again. Earth sign coming in for you right here. Could be a different person, but I, I don't know. For many of you, I think it's the same person. I think it's the same person. Because, you know, um, this can be the charming trickster right here. Setting here by five of swords right here. But, you know. Cancer's got their eyes wide open anymore and got that sword raised up. You know, you don't want to play right. Go sit down again in the timeout. We haven't put timeout chair away. It's still right over there. Right in the corner. Manifesting right here is the magician. This is not the dreamer. This is the one that manifests in the 3D right here. Somebody tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the divine right there. Have by all the goodies that they need to manifest what they want. Their swords, thought process, communication, ducats lining up for you. Go, Cancer. Let's make some coin. Got uh, the emotions. Usa under control right here. Wand of passion. Still passionate. Tucked up by the heart right there. You know. Magician card, every book that you're going to read about magician card says one thing. As above, so below. Hmm? Yeah. Hmm. Definitely, definitely something coming together for you that you have been manifesting for a while. If it has been challenging and I see that it has, it looks like as we go into August right here, up to the middle of the month, that it begins to smooth out for you in the relationship with this person right here. Wow. Four of Wands right here showing up as exterior influence over the reed. This is a powerful card to me. Little Mikey Street Tarot right here. Four of Wands. Soulmate. Twin Flame. This very much looks like Twin Flame stuff to me. You know, they're just not playing right. Hmm? But this is an upgrade in a relationship. Yeah, it shows the loving couple under the garlands there at a wedding ceremony. Hmm? Home, hearth, family, celebration, the good life right here. Under the four wands of passion right there. More fire energy, huh? Leo, Sagi, Aries, sun, moon, rising. You know, but it's about despise not the the day of small beginnings with the Taj Mahal behind him right there and the sun shining on him. Many of you, my friends, have been playing with some kind of soulmate right here, sandwiched in between these eclipses right here as this reed goes out. Yeah, I love it for you here. Manifesting, like I said, as above, so below. A 
four wands, the one, 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 11, 11 card right there. Somebody that's not treating you right, you, uh, uh, you uh, definitely stood your ground and said, I'm not going to play with this anymore. I'm definitely not going to play with this energy anymore. No, thank you very much. Uh, got their attention. They're like, whoa, 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 where's my cancer? Where's my cancer? Yeah. Justice coming in for you. Full steam ahead. New beginnings right here with this little earth sign right here. There they come in. Like I mean, they've changed right here from this little to the king, the mature one. Ooh, coming in for you right here. Huh? Four of Wands. Manifestation. Yes. And the manifestor right here, as above, so below. Just took a little shake up with them. Little shake up. <laughs> Cancer, let's get out. Let's get out of this mindset right here, okay? I can definitely see you've been through it with them. Five of Swords right here. This is in your hopes and fears position. Seven of Swords right there, you know. Let's see them the way that you want them to be. Let's sit, let, you know, eyes wide open, of course. But you cannot keep this vibration. Seven of Swords is the liar cheater card right here. No doubt about it. They lie and cheat to you. That's why you threw the tower down. That's why you threw the gauntlet of of, of, of justice on this situation. But you cannot focus on this. If you focus on this, you're going to create more of this. Period. Change your mindset. See it the way that you want it to be, Cancer. Absolutely. The tide is turning here for you, my friend. Outcome right here. Four pinnacles. Still clinging on to them. That earth sign right there. It may take a minute for this to come together. Many of these soulmate twin flame situations do, you know. Four pinnacles right up there at the top of that spread. You know, the power of these eclipses play out for the next six months. They're going to play out until January, February of uh, 2019. Going to still be holding on. You ain't letting them go. You ain't letting them go. Seeing breakthrough right here. Let's change this mentality of the Seven of Swords, though, for you. Because huh? whatever you're doing, it's working. Okay. Let's send pure positive energy in their direction. Seven of Wands right here. It's my hero's card, is it not? And somebody's chosen to do what's best for them. They've chosen the path they're going to go down. They don't care who likes it or don't like it. One thing's for sure. They are not going to play with this bullshit right here no more. Five of Swords, the Tower, Seven of Swords. Justice right there. Yeah. We're going down a different road here, uh, my earth friend, my fire friend, my air friend. We're going down a different road here. Cancer's setting up boundaries. Good for you, Cancer. It's working. Tired of the river of tears right here. Mm -hmm. Tired of the five of cups. Yeah. Tired of the spilled cups right there. Let's see it a different way. Huh? Let's get out of the Seven of Swords energy. You know, some of you may be single for a little bit. You know, a little bit. I mean, this energy, six months, you know, at the most, the most. Really see you manifesting here. And the hermit right here, he's gone down inside doing that inner work with himself. When he's down inside, he found the star down inside there. You know, that's a... Uh, in the tarot, the star is the card of great hope, great faith, the potential of your dreams to become reality. You know, this is doing the spiritual work that you need to do. That's really what, you know, the magician is doing right here. He's tuned in right here. That's how he's manifesting what he wants. He's tuned in right here. Shows the old eclipse moon up here, huh? And all three of them right there. We had three eclipses this time. One, two, three. They're all right here. Somebody led and guided by the divine. It's Virgo. May mean something to you. May not. Cancer, I definitely see you being led and guided by the divine right here. About an earth sign, sun, moon, rising, that you've been clinging on to. You've been holding on to this person. They have not been treated you right. I want you to get seven of swords out of your thought process. Let's send pure positive energy to them. Hmm? Love and light. Love and light. Because this definitely looks like soulmate twin flame stuff to me right here. Let's manifest, my friends. Let's manifest. Right here. 
manifest right here manifest hey romance angels let's throw out three cards on top of this for cancer please and line up with this spread encouragement guidance all that fun stuff thank you romance angels appreciate it first card is attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully yeah definitely don't focus on the past hmm? seven of swords gotta let that go tower gotta let that go huh five of swords Whew. you got a lot to let go but let it go let it go Attraction talks about being in the now, you know, not focusing on the past, not focusing on the future. Being in the now, enjoy the moment right here. They're coming in. They're going to spend some time with you right here. Right here, my friend. You're going to be holding on to it, too. Hmm? Or maybe they're holding on to you. You guys are mirroring each other. Children. Uh, your love life is being affected by children. Definitely some children involved in some of this with many of you out there. More for, uh, you know, and like I said, this old Five of Swords energy, you know. Maybe dealing with somebody that's a little immature. Hmm? Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring, Cancer. Wow. Going to be doing some exploring of feelings right here. I love it for you, my friends. <laughs> Bottom of the deck right here, new love, huh? New love has stirred your romantic feelings. Wow. Upgrade right here in love for you, Cancer. Wow. Love it, my friends. Love it. You know? Definitely looking forward to see what is going to manifest by the end of this month. Middle of this month, I definitely see them coming in. I definitely see that you have uh, backed away from them. Tower moment. Definitely want you to get out of that Seven of Swords mentality, huh? Let's change it, man. See them the way that you want them to be. Hey, Tarot, love team. Let's do uh, one major for cancer, please. Overall, look at that. Empress showed up for you right here. Oh, man, this is new beginnings in abundance and new beginnings in love coming in here for you. we got new love right there as well. Romantic feelings. Children are definitely involved in many of these cases. And attraction, staying in the moment, be in the now. This is Venus incarnate in the sensual earth. You know, many of you have raised yourself up to this empress statue. Yeah, the Empress. Wow. Agape love. Wow. New beginnings coming in for you. <laughs> Cancer, huh? Sun card. First person to get the sun card through the whole reads. Sun card showing up here for you. It's Leo. May mean something to you, may not. Majors that we have on the board are Taurus, Libra, Gemini, Virgo, Virgo, Libra, mm -hmm. Aries, Scorpio, Leo. Bright, sunny stuff. Coming in here for you, Cancer. I am so happy to end with this note right here for you, my friends. Let the sun shine. Let your inner child come back out and play. Get off of that Seven of Swords mentality. Let's manifest the sun. Let's manifest the Empress. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed this read, Cancer. I know I did. Namaste, my friends. Love and light. I'll be talking to you soon, Cancer. Bye for now.